Hello everyone. On behalf of Merieu Foundation and of the Tropical Medicine Institute of Sao Paulo University, we would like to give everyone a warm welcome to this virtual edition of the course on Arbovirus Diagnostic, which is being organized online instead of a face-to-face -face meeting that we used to organize in Brazil two years ago. So first of all, I would like to introduce myself. I am Florence Pradel from Merieu Foundation, and I lead an international network of research laboratories named Gabriel, and mainly located in low and middle income countries. The main mission of the Gabriel network is to strengthen the research capacities through different activities. And the organization of the course on arborvirus diagnostic is one example of building capacity. As you can see on this slide, we had already organized two workshops on arborvirus diagnostic. One in Brazil in March 2019, with 30 participants coming from different countries from South America. The second one was organized last year in Senegal in collaboration with Pasteur Institute in Dakar. In STAM, we had theoretical course with lectures on clinical, epidemiologic, and laboratory diagnostic tests of arbovirus infections, and also practical session to acquire skills on serologic and molecular methods of diagnostics. All these workshops could be organized thanks to Zika Plan. So what is Zika Plan? Zika Plan is a consortium of 25 partners in Latin America, North America, Africa, Asia, and various centers in Europe. It is funded by the European Commission with the aim to set up a research network across the Latin America region to facilitate, coordinate, and implement research against the Zika outbreak and lay the foundation for a preparedness research network against any future emerging severe infectious traits. This international initiative aims to respond to the Zika virus epidemic and its public health challenges. So there are two main objectives. First, the first one is to fill gaps and strengthen knowledge about the Zika virus to better understand the disease, prevent its spread, and educate affected populations. The second one is to build a sustainable response capacity in Latin America for Zika and also for other emerging infectious diseases. So I would like to thank all the people involved in this course, the coordinators, the speakers, and the lab team that will organize the practical training in March. And on behalf of the course team, we will really welcome you and we hope you enjoyed the course and that you feel that you learned from it. Thank you very much.